So, I'm just going to wash my hair. This is how it looks before. This is how it looks before. I have all my hair products already in the shower, ready to go. So to start off, I'm just going to really saturate my hair under the water, really help to break down any product buildup that I may have in my hair, and just get it ready for the shampoo. So I'm going in with the Odell Clarifying Shampoo, and I'm going to focus this only on the scalp. And I'll rub it down to the ends of the hair, but my main focus with this clarifying shampoo is my scalp. So I just split my hair in half and I focus it one half at a time. And then I'll split that half into half into like quarters pretty much. And I'll focus on the front half and then I'll focus on the back half. everything in for a good amount of time you also want to rinse out your hair for a good amount of time because with locks it holds on to a lot of product so you really have to rinse it out with good pressure so this is the Redken all soft mega curl shampoo so I like to go in first with clarifying and second with a moisturizing shampoo and you'll see it's lathering up much easier this time. It's a lot more foam going on. And I don't really focus it so much on my scalp as much. It's just kind of like a quick little all over thing just to initiate the moisture in my hair. And if you are an avid baby hair doer, you want to make sure that you are scrubbing the front of your hair when you're shampooing. I also wash my edges as I'm washing my face throughout the week, but you definitely want to go in with the clarifying and moisturizing and focus in on your edges when you do have a wash day. So one technique I like to use is I like to squeeze the hair just to make sure any of the product is not trapped inside and you'll see like as you squeeze it if there's any like bubbles or the water isn't completely clear you'll see it as you squeeze it out. This is the Shea Moisture Hydrate and Protein deep conditioner packet with manuka and yogurt and I'm just going in with this It's really really thick so what I do is I emulsify it in my hand first with some water just to make it easier to apply into the hair especially with this being locks you don't really want to apply something super super thick into it and it's hard to rinse out so as you can see I'm starting at the ends and I'm working my way up tangle teaser and I just detangle the ends so I only detangle the ends now when I have a wash day which I try to do like once a week but it's getting to the point where it's not once a week but you just want to keep them detangled if you want to have that curly look at the ends Thank you. 
And that's all my shed hair that I had out of the brush. And I just put my hair up and continue with my shower, wash up my body, and get back to my hair once I'm finished. So after washing up, I just take that bun down and I'm just going to rinse it out pretty much. Again, if you have good pressure in your water, it really helps to rinse out any product in your hair. So I have my Turby Swiss on. It's been in there for like maybe 10, 15 minutes. And this is what my hair looks like. Completely uh, clean, no product in it, towel dried. First thing I go in with is my Miel leave-in conditioner, the honey and pomegranate. And I do two pumps per side. And then I like to go in with Uncle Funky's daughters first with one pump only on the ends. And then you'll see I'll go in with the Camille Rose Curl Maker on top of that only on the ends, just a finger coil. And you can see like how much elongation I have just from adding the gel to that one side compared to the other side. This gel just has a slightly stronger hole. They're both botanical gels, but this one is slightly stronger than the Uncle Funkies. So I do like to put this on top, but I do like that they are not like super hard when you use them together. The, the curls are still allowed to fluff up once it's dry. to make sure I don't have any like fuzziness I go in with Nairobi foaming mousse and I only do that for the top my hair is interlocked right now for me that has worked the best and lasts the longest rather than doing the retwist or else my the top of my head would have been like an afro so for me I like to do uh, interlocking for right now and I just focus down on like the front of my hair and the very top. And if I have any left over, I'll just run it down the length of the locks. So this is later on in the day. This is like 12 o'clock at night when my hair is dry. You see the curls are fluffed out. They're not as um, stringy looking as they were when they were wet. My hair has movement to it, it's not stiff, it's clean, it's soft. It's bouncy. And I just like to go in with this Bondplex, Boldplex, sorry, oil and Jamaican black castor oil but I only put that one on my scalp sometimes I'll interchange it with the Mayel rosemary mint oil but that's pretty much how I wash my hair stay tuned I will show you guys how I style my hair um, but yeah this is just how my hair looks I'm so happy I finally washed it 
let me know if you have any comments, any questions and down below. Thank you.